Come hell or high water, I'm there. Kingdom come, I will prepare. It's been a solid and productive day so far. I got a stone practice in. Some things were there, some things weren't. But it's still early, it's still February, so I'm not really, there's nothing to really freak out about. I'm not moving fast, I just, I haven't trained to move fast. So with that in mind, uh, I am going to be doing some Olympic lifting today and some jumping, kind of start the ball rolling. The emphasis still at this point in the preseason is not really work on the speed, but it's gotta be part of it still. You gotta be mixing things together. Can't all be the slow lifts at this point. So, I'm gonna do some snatches, maybe just some snatch pulls. It's really just a matter of laziness. I don't feel like catching. That's about it. Maybe some snatch pulls, maybe a couple of snatches, and then some cleans, and then I'll jump a little bit and see how I feel after that. Alright, finished up with training. Had to get some dinner. We are dry rubbing some wangs. How do you feel about dry rubbing wangs? You said twaining. <laughs> did I say twaining? I think you did. I'm done with twaining. I'm gonna dry rub some wings now. <laughs> so, stone practice earlier was, was okay. I mean, it's a preseason practice. And I guess if I'm gonna like really evaluate it, I'm gonna say, no, it wasn't a good practice. Like there were a lot of mistakes, a lot of balance issues, a lot of technique problems, but that's good. And having a bad practice is okay. That's, you can almost consider that a blessing because what that allows you to do is you see the big errors, especially early in a season, you see the big errors. It shows you, hey, you're messing up here, bad. Here's what you gotta work on. So you can take those big problems missing this way, missing that way, and you can start to whittle them down a little bit more to where you're starting to hit the more specific stuff the more you practice. So it's, it, earlier in my career in throwing especially, or really in any sport, it was easy to get kind of frustrated with having bad practices, um, not executing how I wanted to. But as I've gotten older, 
I've realized, you know, and having really less time to have quality practice than when I was, you know, in my 20s with no real responsibilities, that a bad practice is a blessing. It is a demonstration of what you need to work on. It's more helpful to me to have terrible technique and practice one day than it is to have great technique and practice, just be hitting all the marks and feel great, but there be an underlying issue that I'm kind of skirting over or that didn't come up, and then it comes up in competition. So, happy with that. So, the Olympic lifting was what it was. The high pulls felt good. I was surprised I was able to pull um, the snatch pull as high as it was. Pleased with that. Uh, the cleans kind of snuck up on me because I'm out of shape. And I'm kind of bad at Olympic lifting now. But hey, got the work done and the jumping felt okay. Backs bothering me a little bit on the cleans and the jumps, so I kind of took it a little easier on those, paced myself. But yeah, no complaints. So we're gonna eat some dinner, we need some wings, the kids are gonna watch some Cosmos, and we're gonna call it a night. Oh. Leah, tell us about your training day. Did you lift bottles? Did you lift a bottle of milk? Ooh. Yeah, six ounce curls. Ooh. Did you bounce? Did you do a lot of bouncing? Yep, you did. Yeah. And you did a lot of kicking with your feet? Yep. <laughs>